Hello everyone, this is Odd One Gaming and this is going to be another Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, today I'm a little bit excited about this one because it is a team that um, I, at least myself, haven't seen put out uh, there by anybody and I've it took me hours and hours of testing basically. So today I'm in K Forever's account, big shout out to him for letting me showcase this one. And uh, I was doing a takeover for him and said like, okay, let's see, can you do me, a, can you build me a clan boss team? And we had the options of doing, you know, a killable one or an unkillable one. And I said, okay, fine, let me let me build him a, a pain eater, you know, the man eater with the warcaster, which is exactly this team over here that we can find on the Deadwood Jedi's website. These are the speeds, it looks pretty straightforward, a little bit tricky with the stun targeting, but then I said, okay, let me see, since you actually have a ninja and you have them booked out and full masteries, like I chose from all of the options that he had, people that were already booked, like already with masteries and try to give you know the the maximum potential out of it and i said okay let's try and see if i can if you can uh, get ninja in there i i searched for like maybe 10 15 minutes no longer than that to see is there any pain eater team with ninja couldn't find anything else then i was like okay let me try and speed to let me try and tune him in the team how hard can it be Oh god, it was hard guys. It took me hours upon hours upon hours of testing and trying and tweaking speeds and masteries and this and that one until I could finally find the right combination to make it work on Ultra Nightmare and on Nightmare. Uh, the, the teams, that, the affinities that I've tried on Ultra Nightmare worked on all on the affinities that, uh, that we had. I think we had a... Uh, we had magic, we had void, and I think we had force as well. So it's like on magic, it worked on most of them. Uh, force, I'm not 100% sure we, we had actually. The, the uh, problem with force is the fact that he might go out of tune, because if he doesn't, if he weak hits, he doesn't get a turn meter on this, on this A1. But on every other one, it works. I haven't tested yet, because we, as you can see, were extremely short on silver. But I haven't tested yet if it actually works to get another DPS for force, for example, we could get a, we could try and get a Geomancer in there, which could do extremely good damage, but he didn't have him built and all this and that. However, I'm expecting it to actually still work because ninja speed is so much different to the other ones that I think it would actually work. Like last night I tried to put instead of ninja in the same team for the same people with the same speeds, I tried to put in uh, Frozen Banshee and it still, it still worked, at least for Ultra Nightmare. So the, the team itself is this one, like I said, ninja is one of the DPS, man eater, Farrakh in the fat, so I even managed to bring in an ally attack uh, in there which was extremely really awesome warcaster and painkeeper so the the reason why i decided to bring farrakhan is because i wanted to have for nightmare like different stun options for different affinities because on nightmare the pain eater team specifically needs uh has painkeeper not have done killable so she can be stunned unless there's another option so let's look at the the tweaking that I've actually done because like I said, it took me hours and hours and it got me to the conclusion that I need certain like exact speeds that I have very little wiggle room, like close to none. So the the this team, like I said, works on Ultra Nightmare and Nightmare. I've tasted it, I've run it, I've I've have checked different times spirit is not a problem for this team because we, we will always block the decrease speed with man eaters a3 the only tweaky thing was getting that third meter on the a1 for the people when to put the ally attacks and all those other tricky things so the speeds that we need for this one is you need warcaster to be at 240 speed with one speed set i haven't like with laura still it might work but it might be tricky. It might work with two speed sets or a speed set with a, with a perception. So the speed that I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you this, the exact things that I have for Nightmare and for Ultra Nightmare. So they're the same thing. And if you want to try to do the exact same thing yourself and maybe you do not hit the exact same speeds or the exact like you don't have the speed sets and stuff like that. What I recommend is you get all of your speeds written in the calculator. So just go to this page, go to click Ultra Nightmare, 
put all your champions in here. You can you can select. So here, like if you want to change, you can just click where Warcaster says and you can select somebody else. Or like for example, where Farrakhan is, maybe you don't have Farrakhan, you have Krila. You write Krila and bring her in here. So you put all of your champions, then you input the speeds here. Don't touch the presets because these are the ones that are specific for each uh, for each difficulty, and that's what you will have to do as a setup for your clan boss uh, for when you do the clan boss run. So this is something you wouldn't touch, but you would touch the speeds. So you would write the speeds like I said here, so we can see my warcaster is 245, one speed set, no lot of steel. Manitor 242, it didn't work with uh, slower, I think it worked with 243 as well, a little bit higher, but one speed set and Lord of Steel I have ticked. If I put three of them, I think uh, the way that it's set as normal, it, it would have gone out of tune, I think, on Nightmare, Ultra Nightmare. So trust me, I, I clicked and tweaked and did everything to find the, like, the specific one. Then Painkeeper, I, I think it works 215, 216, I have no Lord of Steel and no speed set, so I uh, left it exactly as it is. Then Farrah can have at 175 with Lord of Steel and one perception set. You can, like I said, you can click and change it. And then Ninja is 184. I know it. I know it's interesting. What he's faster than the normal DPSs. Like normal DPSs are 173, 174. Yeah, this is how it actually worked with him faster. And it's just one speed set. Let me show you why I mean that it's extremely tricky that you have the right speeds and the right sets and everything on your champions. Just watch this. If you click Lord of Steel on, on Ninja, it goes out of sync. Nothing works anymore. So that's what I had to figure out myself. Like I had to tweak for hours and hours to try and sort it out. Like I changed the speeds, went up, went down, changed the rotation, this and that. But this is the way that it actually works. And I'm, I'm really happy with this because it actually works on Ultra Nightmare and Nightmare. I honestly haven't tested it. Uh, I didn't test it on uh, Brutal. But to be fair, Brutal is not that hard. Like if you if you can two key Ultra Nightmare, one key Nightmare, I'm quite sure that if you, if you put the same team or just add another champion to make you survive, you can easily do like 21 million to do one key on Brutal. So that one's, I don't know, that one's not my, <laughs> that was not my concern for this exact team. So like I said, you have to have 184, one speed set, no Lord of Steel. On Nightmare, it screws it over. Otherwise, it works. On Ultra Nightmare, same, it's, it's exactly the same things. Let me just show you. So, same thing. One piece, a lot of steel. One piece, a lot of steel. Uh, two piece, no, wait, let me see. One piece, a lot of steel. One piece, a perception. And one piece, a lot of steel. I wanted to show you because sometimes I've seen like some videos like, oh, it's the exact same thing. And then when you try on different difficulties, it doesn't work. I, w I wanted to make sure that before I put the video out, I test it and show the right and the correct information. So, uh, these are the speeds, these are the builds. Let me show you their builds, actually. So, uh, for Ninja, I just did ran the build, one speed set. The speed that I said, 184, 4.3k attack, 225 crit damage, 231 uh, accuracy. There's, there's some stuff that maybe can be glyphed and tweaked and getting a little bit more damage. But I didn't have the, we didn't have the silver, we're short on silver now. Then uh, Ninja's Masteries. For this case, you don't want to, obviously, you don't, do not want to get the retribution because you don't want to get that extra third meter on his A1. Therefore, I went for the Sniper and Master Hexer to extend his HP bar or his decreased defense on his A1 and Sniper again to have a better chance to land it. And on the left side, you obviously went Life Trigger for the heal and War Master. Manitor's masteries are roughly the same. Like I didn't have the, I didn't want to use gem to reset them. I wouldn't do the ones on the right. I would keep him in offense and defense. I would bring him into the retribution, or I would do some other stuff. I wouldn't go the support because you don't want accuracy to land a decrease attack normally. But the other ones are standard ones for boss fights. Then for Farrak in the fat, same thing, almost same thing as Ninja. You want Life Drinker, War Master as priorities, and then Sniper and Master Hexer for his decreased defense on the A1 and poisons and HP burn on his A2. Uh, Farrak is insane, it's the same champion. His kit is just, is just too good to be true, honestly, for an epic. Then Warcaster. We have uh, same thing, Life Drinker, War Master, uh, bear, bear in mind, you're only protected from Warcaster's block damage on the first AOE, that's why getting Life Drinker and War Master helps, because you can heal back up, and on the champions that it's allowed to, you have a chance for the Retribution to do some extra damage. 
that's why we took retribution for him i think you can see it yep you can see it from my from my big head and then last one is painkeeper i i specifically took for painkeeper uh, so uh, down the left side same thing offense life drinker war master crit rate crit damage but on the support tree i specifically took the steadfast mastery reason being on nightmare you kind of have to control where the stun goes so it's a little bit of controlling the stun targeting but maybe it's not as difficult as as you have to do it for uh for the budget unkillable because on this on uh on this team it's only painkeeper that doesn't have unkillable for the stun everybody else has it so if it's an, if it's affinity and you have somebody that's wrong affinity that can be stunned they will be stunned no problem they have block damage they have unkillable but like i said i took steadfast to make sure she's not gonna get the the stun and i made sure that she has enough defense like decent defense and not too high hp to be able to heal herself when she does the a2 also, Painkeeper, I built her in a toxic set. Her speed is 216, as I mentioned, 100% crit rate, some crit damage. Her damage is not the craziest in the world, but toxic gives her some good damage. Then Warcaster, I just had some random sets in there, a speed and some random sets, 245, 100% crit rate, 182 crit damage, 2.7k attack. Uh, Farrakhan, again, I have a, what, Perception and a Fatal, I think it's Fatal. Uh, yeah, fatal the one from the from the magma dragon. 100% uh, crit rate, one, the speed like I mentioned, 175, 3.5k attack, 243 crit damage, 240 accuracy. You need accuracy for his A1 and A2. Manitor random set speed and I got speed and crit damage with some luck. 2.6k attack, the right speed, 176 crit damage, and ninja again, like I showed at the beginning, random sets with the speed, damage, and accuracy that we needed. So I'm gonna play the runs, guys. I'm, I'm gonna play just the beginning and then the ending of the nightmare run, and the beginning of the and the ending of the ultra nightmare run, and then we're gonna come back and see how this team actually performed, and you know, just I guess enjoy it and be happy of, of the fact that we managed to finally figure something like this out after hours 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 and hours of trying and tweaking and all that so we'll see you in a bit guys be right back
and I'm back guys. So look at this damage, 36.88 million on Ultra Nightmare and on, on Nightmare as we've seen it was a one key team. So the damage output from Ninja is extremely good, that's the reason why I specifically wanted to get him in this team. Uh, before I tried to do the one with Ninja, honestly I tried to do it with Farrakhan and uh, Frozen Mansion. Then I tried to drop Frozen Mansion and bring Krila. then drop Try dropping Krila and you know swapping this and that and it was just wasn't a two key ultra nightmares that's when I decided to go to this madness of the ninja pain eater and bring ninja in here so as we can see the damage is like honestly this is an easy two key uh, the reason I'm saying easy two key is because if this one would go to force I'm pretty confident we can just bring geomancer in there and geomancer will do roughly the same damage as ninja plus geomancer will also bring us that weaken one thing that I realized only towards the end myself, and maybe uh, if, if I would have rebuilt this team, I would have done it differently, is the fact that because we bring Farrakhan in the team and because we have Painkeeper but they constantly resets the, the skills, uh, Maniter's ally attack becomes uh, turns out to be on a three turn cooldown. So because it's on a three turn cooldown and he places the the what is it let me just let me let's just go to the champion he places the increased crit rate and increased crit damage on that ally attack which is his a3 places a uh, 30% increased crit rate and crit damage buff on all allies except these champions for three turns then all allies except this champion will attack so he does an attack buffs up for three turns on a four turn cooldown painkeeper resetting it will bring us to a three turn cooldown long story short we could build everybody with 70% crit rate except Farrakhan. So this could be something that could boost up the damage even more. Build everybody with 70% crit rate and you should be able, you might be able to do more damage if you want to. If you cannot hit exactly the, the damage that, that I just hit in the in the video with, with this team, then this is one of the things that could help you get to the next level. Or if you don't have Farrakhan and, and you have somebody else, you could bring, you could build another champion in a toxic set. So there's always stuff that can be tweaked and improved to be able to to get that to that at least two key for starters and then later on to get to that one key like for example this account after we after we've done that fun enough after i finished doing the team guess what he pulled let me show you where is she he pulled a Demetha. So after I finished working for hours and hours, he got a Demetha. We're obviously gonna work on getting a team with Demetha on this account, but he still needs to work on getting Seeker. He doesn't have Deacon, so like the he doesn't have the standard one, but he has a Brogni. But like I said, guys, this was this was a really interesting team, and I'm really happy that I, I managed to find the way it works. I hope this is helpful for like maybe more of you out there that maybe you have ninja and you have the other champions and you cannot get the right team and i don't know maybe you don't do not want to stress about doing just the budget unkillable that requires you to get uh, two three stun targets and control and get all that complicated teams i think this one's a little bit less complicated even though it's like really specific on speeds at least you don't have to stress about many stun targeting stuff and like different uh Affinities and all that, it works on all affinities, no worries, don't have to change rotations, don't have to change gear, just need to get a specific in the beginning and job done. Anyway guys, this was a long one, I rambled in uh, enough, I just wanted to showcase, like I said, the whole thing, because it was really tricky and was, uh, you know, it, it, it was hard work, it was hard work and I really wanted to show how I got to, to uh, making this team work. But this will be it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, a subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace. Love you all. Take care, guys. Bye.